It reportedly happened in northwest Pakistan early Saturday morning. Pakistani military officials say at least 26 of their soldiers were killed by NATO helicopters based across the border in Afghanistan. CNN's Reza Saya is covering the story for us from CNN Islamabad. First of all, uh, Reza, what are you hearing from the government of Pakistan about this? Well, they're not happy, uh, Natalie. This could be a very ugly and damaging incident when it comes to U.S. and Pakistani uh, relations. Uh, we're already seeing the fallout. Pakistan's Prime Minister Yusuf Raza Galani, uh, Galani condemning this incident, releasing a statement saying he's cutting short a trip that he was on, planning to come back to Islamabad tonight. He scheduled an emergency meeting with government officials. Uh, the government here has already shut down both NATO supply routes that go from Pakistan to Afghanistan, that means roughly 40% of non-lethal NATO supplies that usually go from Pakistan to Afghanistan are sitting in a parking lot somewhere, not clear when they're going to start moving again. So clearly the government not happy here. Let's give you some of the details that we have confirmed, and it's important to note these are from Pakistani officials only. We have yet to have this information corroborated by NATO or ISAF officials, but they say... Pakistani military officials say 26 soldiers killed in an attack by NATO helicopters at a check post at Momen Agency. This is a district in uh, Pakistan's border region, the tribal region, right next to the Afghan border. A lot of militant activity there. NATO troops often carry out operations there, but they have to stick to Afghan soil only. Pakistani military officials say somehow these NATO choppers crossed into Pakistani airspace and hit this check post, leaving 26 Pakistani soldiers uh, dead, Natalie. And uh, Reza, has there been any official reaction yet uh, from uh, the United States uh, on what has happened? We did in the past couple of hours get a statement from the U.S. Uh, embassy. Not a lot of details in the embassy, from the embassy in this statement. It was from the ambassador, Cameron Munter. It was conciliatory, but without confirming the details. The statement read, I regret the loss of life of any Pakistani servicemen and pledge that the United States will work closely with Pakistan to investigate uh, this incident. So it's a statement, again, that's conciliatory, but doesn't corroborate the account that we're getting from Pakistani military officials. Uh, but certainly, this is a matter that's serious enough that U.S. officials, NATO officials, are taking a very close look at it. And it's certainly an incident uh, that could heighten tensions in an already fragile relationship between Islamabad and Washington. Absolutely comes at a, at a really difficult, difficult time. Uh, Reza Sayyid, thank you so much for that. NATO's top commander in Afghanistan has promised an investigation and offered condolences to the families of those killed. CNN's Nick Payton Walsh joins us now from Kabul with more on NATO's response. Nick, what are you hearing? Well, actually, I mean, General John Allen was very interesting in what he said because he didn't actually express condolences for anyone killed. He said he was sorry if anybody may have been killed. A really important difference there because at this point, ISAF are exceptionally cautious to stay away from saying anything which might suggest the Pakistani version of events is accurate. Now, they're not disputing it, but they seem to be, as Reza says, conciliatory at this point. Let's listen to what their spokesman had to say. The International Security Assistance Force is investigating an incident that occurred in the early hours of this morning in the border area of Afghanistan and Pakistan. The commander of the International Security Assistance Force has stated that he is personally paying the highest attention to this matter and that he is committed to thoroughly investigate and determine the facts. He expresses his sincere and personal heartfelt condolences to the families and loved ones of any member of the Pakistan security forces who may have been killed or injured. The ISAF leadership remains committed to improving security relations with Pakistan, including coordination of operations along border regions in our united fight against terrorism. 
That's important to remember what a complicated, messy at times area this is. Many American troops I've spent time with there are never sure really where uh, Afghanistan ends and Pakistan begins on this poorly delineated border. An operation we understand from Afghan border police officials going on on the Afghan side of that border near where this incident took place on the Pakistani side to try and root out Taliban. Not necessarily at this point linked to the incident in Pakistan, but perhaps an indication of how violent and volatile things are there. But certainly there are suspicions on both sides. American troops never quite sure whether the fire they're getting is coming from inside Pakistan or from insurgents on the Afghan side of the border and deeply suspicious of the Pakistani military on the other side, whereas the Pakistani military themselves often considering at this point that the Americans aren't doing enough sometimes to stop insurgents from the Afghan side attacking Pakistani troops. So deep animosity on both sides of the border and an incident like this with an enormous loss of life, according to Pakistani officials, will do nothing to better that.